This week on Click, we are doing it ourselves and looking at how pint-sized computers in the classroom could reignite our interest in time, guys. food. While Raspberry Pi could provide a piece of the jigsaw, Great. in some classrooms there's already a small revolution taking place. Next Teachers like Ian Addison are tearing up the rule books, ignoring the national curriculum and choosing instead to focus their lessons on code. A lot of the children don't sort of understand the, the, the world with Ataris and Commodores back you know, in the 80s. And what we're trying to do with our game design is show them that you can teach some game, you know, you can make some games and you can create them and share them with other people. Where are you? There, Today, Class 10 at St John's Primary School in Hampshire are designing their own computer game. To jump across the clouds to um, collect treasure. With the help of some software called To Do It Yourself, the children can design levels, the enemy, and of course, a hero. It's all fun and games as they get to play on each other's creations. And even during break time, some of the children here are creating games for the Xbox, taming the power of Microsoft's games console with Kudo, a simplified programming environment designed with kids in mind. What are you doing there then? Trying to program some of my um, stars and coins. We've already had some children that have said that since we've started this, that they want to go and be teachers, they want to get more into computers, and they, they're getting interested in how games work, and they want to explore that avenue. So they're only young, our oldest are 11, but if we can inspire a few of them, then we've done a good job. So it's clear, the UK needs a new crop of coders capable of keeping the games industry at the top of the league. But although the Raspberry Pi is being positioned as a solution, Getting it adopted in schools will not be without significant hurdles. Not least is getting teachers on board. Many will find themselves on a steeper learning curve than their pupils. And yet without the support of teachers, this project simply won't gain the momentum it so badly needs.